Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sway to the 99 and today is Wednesday, so you know what that means. We'll be making a delicious meal. And as usual, we'll be using ingredients that I have found at the 99 cent only store. However, if you don't have a 99, um, you can certainly, you know, find all these ingredients at your local store. This is just gonna give you an idea of, you know, a healthy meal you can make for your family or yourself. Um, and I'm really excited because you actually, um, some of you who follow me on Instagram actually helped me decide uh, what to make this week. And we're going to be making um, black bean, um, I want to say burritos, <laughs> uh, black bean uh, burgers. So I'm actually really excited. Um, I've looked up a couple of different recipes and everyone seems to kind of have their own style of making it. So I think, you know, we'll kind of make it our own and see what we know what works for me. And, you know, you can certainly use mine as a guide and figure out what works for you. So I'm really excited guys, I'm actually starving. So let's jump into this video. All right, so starting with the basics, we're going to be using um, sweet peppers, um, some white rice, uh, black beans, and just to note the black beans, I did use these um, dry beans. You kind of have to let it soak for overnight, but you know, I know it does take a little bit extra time, but believe me, they taste way better when you do it yourself. And I figured, you know, since today I'm making a cooking video, I definitely want to go, you know, all out for you guys. Um, I'm excited. I'm going to be using more of the chipotle mayo. It's so good. Of course, some tomatoes. Um, I haven't tried the vegan cheese yet, so I'm actually going to try it today. So I'm really excited. So let's see how it tastes. If you guys have tried it, let me know what you think. Um, some Himalayan pink salt, some garlic, um, some spinach for our topping, and then breadcrumbs. <laughs> and actually the breadcrumbs, I actually made my own. I didn't have some, so I just, you know, toasted up some bread. And I just kind of grounded up some some of the bread and, you know, have my own um, uh, breadcrumbs. So, yeah, and then I'm actually just using some chips that I found at the 99 for um, for my french fries. And somebody, I believe Rosa, had asked me about the knives. And I, I've had this one for probably about six months. And I love it. I have a whole set and you know what, <laughs> to be honest with you, this is my go-to now. I really like it, it's very sharp. And sometimes it's too sharp, you have to be careful. But if you see it, I would definitely say grab it, give it a try. You know, I think it's $2.99 or $3.99, I can't remember, but it's definitely very affordable and you definitely get your money's worth. So, um, and then we're gonna be um, having some a Gold Peak tea, which is my favorite, the unsweetened one, to kind of wash down our delicious burgers. And just a little promo, switch to the 99. And don't forget to do the 99. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna, you're gonna wanna do is to kind of mash up your beans a little bit. So I took about half of what I had and I'm just kind of mashing it up a little bit. You want it to still keep the the consistency. So you would just, but you just wanna kind of, you know, break them out a little bit. And then the other half, we're actually gonna blend. So, and then we'll kind of mix it all together. So again, as you can see, I'm not really breaking it down too hard. I just want to kind of, you know, massage them a little bit and kind of break it maybe just in half. Um, I don't know if you can see the consistency so far, but you want to just, you know, uh, get all the guts out for, um, for lack of a better term. All right, now we're going to slice up our sweet peppers. And these are actually also going to go into the blender, but I just want to kind of find them up a little bit for now, just to kind of cut them into smaller pieces make it easier on the blender oh it's starting to smell good already guys I hope you guys try some of these ideas that I'm um, showing you all right so let's kind of go with that and see um, if we need to add more but I think we have enough for now all right so just to kind of quickly show you I'm putting in um, about half of the rice I'll be using into the blender as well. I've already added the um, the peppers. So we're going to be adding in our breadcrumbs as well. Don't be shy, Sway. <laughs> um, let's just add a little bit of garlic powder just to add a little bit of flavor. And we can certainly add more later. Also gonna add some Him Himalayan pig sea salt, just a stash. And then we're gonna blend it up nice and uh, we're going to blend it all together and you're going to want to just pulsate you're not going to want to ground it too much yeah so that's about the consistency that you want because you still want it to have some texture um, and you can kind of see there. And what we're going to also use is a, um, a little bit of ketchup just to give it a little bit of sweetness and also kind of bind it all together. 
right, um, so we're right. putting everything together now. Now we're just, um, as you can see, some of the beans are still somewhat whole. And you want to have a little bit of moisture. So what we're going to use, as I mentioned, is a little bit of ketchup. And that's going to um, binding up, bind it a little bit. I wouldn't use too much and then it's going to make it too sweet. But, you know, again, just make it to your, to your liking. So again, you just want to kind of mix that all in. Get it all nice and combined. And it's starting to look really good. So I'm really excited to see how it looks once we start um, to fry it. And there are two ways to make this. Um, I've seen um, some people, you know, put it in the oven and some people fry it. So I think for today's purpose, or for today's video rather, we're going to um, fry just because it will be uh, done a little quicker. But all right, I think it's kind of ready. So see what, I mean, it probably doesn't look very appetizing to you right now, but believe me, it will taste amazing once we have it finalized. So one thing that we need to do before um, we get to the pan is to actually make the patty. So we're going to just take a little bit or a very healthy chunk. You want to just, you know, kind of give it a little bit of a shape. Um, you know, actually, that looks really nice. <laughs> and it's my first one, guys. So I think we might get a couple of burgers out of this. Um, and again, you know, you just add a little bit, make, make, you know, you want to make sure that it's nice and health and hearty. You don't want it to be too, um, too thin. Otherwise it, it may not, um, you know, it may not cook very well or it may, you know, might, might not keep its shape, but I think this one is good. Um, all right. So we'll just make a couple more. We'll make a couple more and then, uh, put it in the fryer. So the pan is heating up right now. So let's. All right, guys, can we just take a brief moment to look at these beautiful patties? I know the lighting may not be perfect, but as you can see, they're pretty meaty. I got two of them. I was hoping to get three, but it wasn't going to work out, guys, which is fine. Um, for tonight, it's just me, so it's totally fine, and they're pretty hearty. So let's get these bad boys into the, into the pan and get going. All right, so let's prep the pan. We're going to be using the Filippo Bayro. I don't know how to say it, but I also found that the 99, this bottle was uh, 199. So let's get our pan ready. The burgers are ready. Um, and we want to leave each side for about five minutes each. Um, and if you think that it's getting too hot or if it's, you know, pretty much ready, um, just like a regular burger, just flip it over. And we want to make sure that the pan is nice and coated. Um, and disclaimer, this pan was not found at the 99. Um, all right, so let's uh, let's get these uh, these nice delicious burgers into the fryer or into the frying pan rather. Um, yes. Uh, I am so excited, guys. Um, this is actually the first time that I'm making these. Um, I've obviously have had them many many times, uh, but this is actually the first time that I'm actually making them at home, and I'm very excited to see how they come out. Um. One thing I would say is probably if you want a little bit more color um, is to add um, probably a lot more um, veggies. I, you know, since this is my first time making these, I didn't want to go too crazy and add a lot. I did think about putting spinach, but, you know, I think spinach, you know, once you cook it, it dwells. So I didn't want to um, make make it too messy. And I figured, you know, just a couple of ingredients, you know, since it's, since it is my first time. And again, you want to make sure that the, um, the oil gets even in here. So we'll let that cook for a couple of minutes. So we'll let this sit for about five minutes on each side, this side, and then we'll flip it over. Um, and at the end, we'll put on our vegan cheese and let it melt for a moment before we put it in the bun. So I actually just flipped them over. Um, I forgot to show you guys, but I don't know if you guys can see, but it's funny how it kind of looks like meat, like the um as it's starting to get a little crisp around the um the middle parts so i'm really excited and when i flipped it over i was afraid that it was going to kind of fall apart but thankfully um it had kind of stayed together and i think it is because of the um the ketchup that kind of binded everything together and you do want to have um a little bit of liquid um from your beans not too much just enough to keep everything moist you don't want it to kind of dry up but as you can see it, you know it kept the shape and it actually smells really good, so oh, can't wait. All right, <laughs> so at this point, I've actually just turned off the stove, so I'm going to um, put two slices, or one slice per per um, per burger of cheese on, and it's funny because they're actually already pre-cut, and I thought that was just the um, the shape, so it's which is pretty nice. So I'm gonna let that melt for a little bit, and then we're gonna pop them onto 
um, onto our buns and then uh, give it a taste. All right, so I've prepared my buns and the burgers, or rather the cheese did not melt as I was, was I, as I was hoping, but you can still see it's, um, <laughs> it's still hanging in there. It's a little soft, but I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> All right, let's get that in there. I'm just gonna keep it very simple and add our tomatoes and our spinach, yeah. And I do like to add um, the, um, the dressing on both sides. I don't know if you guys are one side or double sided, but as you can see, this is what it looks like. Looks delicious and it smells amazing. So let's give it a taste and we'll be right back. Guys, can we just quickly admire this burger? It looks so nice. Uh, I'm just, <laughs> I'm like, I just wanna take pictures and not eat it. Uh, and the other one finally did um, kind of melt a little bit. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, all right, let's give it a quick taste and uh, and wrap it up. All right, guys, the moment of truth. Let's see how it how it tastes. I'm just gonna say how it looks. It looks amazing. So, mmm, yummy. Yeah, it tastes really good, guys. All right, guys. So that wraps it up for today. Um, the burger is amazing. I only took a bite. I don't want to be chewing your ear like I usually do, but um, thank you so much for tuning in. I am really thank you, thankful for all of your wonderful comments. You guys have been amazing so far, very supportive, just the kind words. And I know a lot of you are looking forward to this video and, and just really makes my day. So thank you so much for that. Um, one thing I just want to remind you, um, I am part of the 99 Shopaholics, which is the 99 cent only stores or go-to <laughs> fan page. Uh, so definitely check them out. I am a moderator for them as well. So I'm pretty much all over the place when it comes to the 99. I'm very involved as much as I can be. Um, and also I do have my Instagram sway to the 99. So I'm sure most of you already know that. But if not, I will link it below. So I hope you all have a wonderful day or a wonderful week rather. And I will see you on Saturday.